Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And I'm going to pull from the spirit animal oracle. So what spirit animal wants to be with us today? The ones that have been following me around over the last few days have been snake and mice, mouse and bats and all kind of birds um but all about sort of transformation rebirth and looking at the finer details of your awakening let's say so where are you being drawn to so let's have a look what is it today it is no way we had this the other day as well the vulture spirit number 63 so um this is all about knowing that like the vulture picks up every single bit of um bits that are left right <laughs> and so it is to remember that every single bit of your journey is worthwhile in making you spread your wings and fly no matter what it feels like even though sometimes you might wake up and feel like total roadkill just know that all of that is happening for the for the rising of your soul and to fill you with more light because it's only where the dark is that the light uh, can shine. So what seems hideous has its own beauty. And the recycling and repurposing the vulture does is as important as any other activity in nature that supports the cycle of life. Vulture Spirit's message is that nothing is to be wasted, for nature sees value in everything that exists. What seems rotten and ugly has the potential to be transmuted into something beneficial. And you are reminded that any suffering you have experienced has not gone to waste. Wisdom and understanding that arose from the experience are talismans that will serve you on your journey wherever you go. What is decaying is only changing form and will fertilize seeds you wish to plant, turning that which has passed away into the substance that will support new growth. All that you might wish to deny or discard has value and can be repurposed and reintegrated into the new you that you are becoming and the new life that you are dreaming into being. No pain was in vain and no experience was wasted, for you have the power to use it to co-create something far better. This is the miracle in your partnership with spirit. Wow, and that was on page 186. So I am going to. We've had letter 63 recently, so I'm going to lead. So I'm going to read 186. And uh, so it is so important to remember that no matter like if you're feeling like you know it is feeling a bit like roadkill at the moment, especially with what's going on in the world and you know all the craziness, then um, just trust that all of that is happening. It's all part valuable for your journey. So every day I think of you, not a minute goes by that I don't think about why I didn't do things or handle things differently. I've been a complete idiot. I'm so sorry that I couldn't say what was really going on to make me behave the way I did. I'm sorry. I will make it right. Trust that I will. Trust that I will make my way back. It's just a matter of time. Wow. That like you know the all important divine timing the all important being able to see from a higher perspective be able to look on the bigger picture um to really trust that we are here as part of a soul group to help each other to guide each other into the light so we're waiting excitedly we're jumping around can't excitable can't wait to see how it's going to feel we're excited about jumping down the slide and coming into your body and being grown into the baby it's all so exciting it's like we are waiting for christmas and we are the ones that are due to come down the chimney but we can't come till the day is right and uh, god is setting the day all the jigsaw pieces have to be in the right place he says our day is coming He's excited too. Oh my God, that's from Future Children. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've had that. I can't have read, well, have I read it 186? I've probably read them all at some point, but uh, that seems like a beautiful letter to come today, that excitement about, you know, what's going to happen. So it's all about embracing the goddess of love within you. Allow your transformation to happen by welcoming in the goddess energy into your life. Concentrate on you. Concentrate on working your goddess magic around the world and with everyone you meet. 
Take your focus away from the 3D connection and put all of your attention into your heart and to living in love, enveloping your body and soul in divine light. Trust that you are on the right path. All is unfolding just as planned. Trust in your fate. Oh, wow, that's so perfect. And uh, that's exactly what I was doing this morning, actually, uh, for the first time. It was really pretty this morning. It was like white frost on the grass and the sun shining. And I put, uh, I was just like standing out on the grass and just saying, thank you. Thank you for filling me with your divine light. Thank you. Thank you uh, for um, allowing us to shine our light all over the world and to, for making a difference. And so that's so perfect because it is just like always happens the synchronicity it's like we are talking through the un to the universe and the universes and the twin spirit answers back through these messages so it's all about embracing the goddess of love within you allow your transformation to happen by welcoming in the goddess energy into your life concentrate on you concentrate on working your goddess magic around the world and with everyone you meet Take your focus away from the 3D connection and put all of your attention into your heart and to living in love, enveloping your body and soul in divine light. Trust that you are on the right path. All is unfolding just as planned. Trust in your fate. Wow, there you go. Trust in your fate. I'm just going to pull, look, these are the All Things Intuitive cards, messages of love. I love the um, little bag they come in as well. These are such great cards. And uh, the message is this. Let's have a little look. And it is, what is it? It is, put away the computer. <laughs> you know, this is so funny. Um, I had to, I've been... <laughs> I spilt tea on my computer a couple of days ago, so I haven't been able to use it, um, which has been really difficult. And uh, because, uh, I mean, basically I work with with all of you via my computer, right? So I think that's so brilliant because that's exactly what's happened. So, um, and, but it does give us time to breathe and time to um, focus on what's outside and the beauty of, of nature and all of the wonderful things. So... As always, spirit has got a sense of humor. So there you go. That's the message for today. I really hope that helps. If you would like a healing, a reading, a channeling, or to get any of my services, all details are in the description box against this video. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright, and stay switched on to the light. See ya.